it. Honorable colleagues, let me shed more light why I shall support this bill amendment and all of you, I will convince you to also support it. It is not only because I'm a member of this committee, but because I've interacted with various stakeholders with regard to the challenges AMCON has been facing towards the recovery of the public debt owned by individuals and corporate bodies. As of today, less than 300 Nigerians are owing over 8 trillion naira public funds. Less than 300 Nigerians are owing over 8 trillion naira Nigerian public funds. I think this amendment has come at the right time, but it is not to, it has not satisfied my curiosity because it is going in a normal way and under the status quo. I want it to be further proactive, more radical, and more aggressive. Imagine less than 300, mil, uh, 300 people holding, sitting on over 8 trillion naira. This can be verified by any one of us and the public from the AMCON. If you go there through the Freedom of Information Act, they are liable to give you this information. Who are the 300 Nigerians? They are proud stars, in my own opinion. And I have no apology. They are proud stars. They obtain loans through illegal ways, but they came and became dubious in repayment. They own shares in public properties. They transform much of those shares into their own personal entity. Some of them were assigned or appointed to manage public funds on behalf of this nation, but they mismanaged that money and they are working freely. Look at the situation. Somebody owing over 500 billion naira working freely in Nigerian streets, but somebody who's still a goat in the village, like where I come from, or somebody who's still Tuba Abiyam, like those in Kogi and Bino states, or somebody who's still Cassava, like somebody from Kaduna and Niger states, or somebody who's still a half a bag of Sisame from Jigawa, Bauchi, Yobe, and other states. And he will be taken to a local magistrate or to an area court judge, and he will reprimand him in prison for over three months or six months. And here we are, allowing people sitting on trillions of naira, working free. I will wish to advocate. I will wait until when this bill is passed, and by the grace of God, I know we are all patriotic, and it will pass to third reading. My only fear is, I am limited, I cannot make amendment to this uh, amendment here, but I will try to make sure whenever it is going for, third, um, for public hearing, I will be there to make sure I make some amendments. And some of those amendments that I will propose then will be, I'm going to be empowered to go ethical and moral. Ethical and the moral sense is saying that whoever owns Amco money should have an insignia written on his properties. This person is indebted to Amco. I believe that will discourage so many people from going to sit on Amco debt. And that will also make people to feel shy because you are here sitting on public funds. You are galvanizing all over the globe and you are moving all over in private and chartered jets. And yet, you are doing that from public, uh, public funds. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleague, I converse and I ask everybody to support this uh, amendment to pass for second reading. Thank you.